Well, hello and happy Easter. But what is Easter all about? Well, it's of course not about fluffy bunnies or chalky eggies. It's about this amazing fact. Jesus Christ is risen. And it is God who causes Jesus to rise from the dead by the will of the Father, because that's what the Father wanted, by the faith of the Son, blending his will with his Father's, which gives him the power to lay down his life and to take it up again. And as he expresses that faith, so the righteous live by faith, and also by the power of the Spirit of Holiness, the Spirit who raised him from the dead. And he did so according to the scriptures. Twice in Paul's uh, writings, he says that Jesus rose according to the scriptures. And in Acts 17 too, when he's in Thessalonica, he goes into the synagogue and proves from the Old Testament scriptures that Christ had to suffer, die and rise again. And of course, on Easter evening, we recount that story of how two disciples met with Jesus on a journey of discovery to see how all that happened to him in that last week was predicted in the Old Testament, hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Because Christ is risen, what difference does that make for us? It makes a lot of difference because we were baptized into Christ and joined with him in his death and in his resurrection. And now the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. As Jesus says, as Paul says to the Galatians, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It is the power of God working within us. And when we think of power, we might think of other examples of power from culture, from our own world. We might, for instance, think of the Incredible Hulk. Dr. Bruce Banner is overcome by the destructive power that comes from the anger that's built up inside. Maybe something we could relate to. But because Christ is risen, we can have peace with God, a peace that releases anger, removes guilt, and restores a relationship with God. God turns his back on sin. He cannot look at it because he is holy. It would wipe us out if he didn't hide his holiness from us. And on the cross, all our sin is placed on Jesus and the Father turns his back on Jesus. Throughout his life, whenever Jesus prayed, he called God his Father. But on the cross he prays, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? At the resurrection, he's ready to return to his Father and our Father. He was declared to be the Son of God. We might think of Popeye. He gets power from eating spinach. He defeats Brutus and wins Olive. Jesus, on the other hand, consumes the word of God. He defeats Satan and wins for himself a beautiful bride. So because Christ is risen, our enemy is overthrown and we are one for Jesus. When we think of power, we might think of political power or military might. The President of the United States of America is Commander-in-Chief of the American Army, Navy, Air Force and Marines. He wields a lot of power, perhaps the most powerful man in the world. The Bible tells us that the man who can conquer himself, who can control his tongue, is better than he that can defeat a city. And because Christ is risen, there is a power in us to help us overcome the enemy within so that sin will not be our master. There is a power in us to change not only ourselves, but to change the world. 
From fiction, we might think of Anakin Skywalker, who was taught to tap into the power of the Force, an energy which supposedly comes from the sum total of all living things. But the power of the resurrection comes from the life himself, who is the source of all life, the author of life whom death could not hold. And because Christ is risen, that life lives in us. And lastly, we might think of the Duracell bunny, who goes on and on and on, a bit like this uh, preacher does sometimes. But eventually, even the Duracell bunny runs out of energy. But because Christ is risen, there is a life in us that will never die, a life which goes beyond death itself, by which we have a new birth into a living hope. So, the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead outlasts the Duracell bunny. It's more nutritious than Popeye's spinach. It shows the force to be a farce, the Incredible Hulk to be the Incredible Bulk, and it makes Joe Biden look as powerful as a rhododendron bush. So, brothers and sisters, let's allow God to fill us with the dynamite power of the resurrection and unleash us as a force for good into this broken world. Amen.